Hey guys, B Hands here at prettyprtrick.com. So happy Monday and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a fashion haul to show you guys. I did go consignment store shopping again over the weekend. So if you haven't seen my first come shop with me consignment store um, little trip video, then I will link it below or I'll stick an annotation and you guys can check it out. You can see what I got. Um, from another consignment store in my area, but after I bought that stuff, I did say, oh, I'll just um, show you guys how I style the outfits and I'll take pictures and post them on my Instagram. So I did get a really good response between um, the video and Instagram with the outfit of the days, like featuring pieces that I got in that haul. So people were like, oh, I want to see more of these because, yeah, because not everyone is like really familiar with um, consignment store shopping or thrifting. So I was like, oh, I need to do more because the yes, okay, I'm balling on the budget. So, and I know a lot of people <laughs> watching this video are, so um, I definitely want to show you guys like how to be cute, but save money at the same time. So yes, I found a new consignment store and um, someone at work told me about it like last week. It's called The Clothes Mentor. Um, it's, I know that it may be a franchise. I'm not sure because when I looked it up online, there were quite a few of them in a bunch of different areas. So um, you can probably Google it and see if you have one near you. Um, but if you do not, good thing they actually, um, do sell everything online as well. So <clears throat> the clothes mentor that I went to, it is in Western New York. It is in Amherst, New York. It's at 3099 Sheridan Drive. Um, I think it's the North Town Plaza. So yeah, so my friend and I, we went to check it out. Um, she had already gone like the night before and she's like, oh my God, it was so great. And I got like a few really cute pieces and I was like, oh, sad things because I wanted to go. But then she's like, let's go again. And I was like, yeah, happy face. So, um, so yeah, so we went um, this weekend and oh my God, I was so super duper duper impressed. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. I got a few pieces that were like ridiculously on sale and then I got some other pieces that were like good you know pretty good price and then I got a couple two pieces that were a little more expensive but I was really happy with them so while I get everything ready if you guys can click that thumbs up button I would really appreciate it and if you're not already a subscriber I'm hoping that you will be by the end of this video so first off I have my handy dandy receipt here first off I got um yeah four pairs of jeans for one dollar each yes one dollar one dollar i was so excited so um what they do is if you like their facebook page and i will link their facebook page below if you like their facebook page that is the only way that you find out about these like random flash sales that they have like in the store right so they send it out to everyone that is a facebook fan of theirs so um so yeah so they had this one dollar sale posted on their facebook and basically they have like two giant racks of um clothing that was all marked one dollar and they also had like some accessories like belts and stuff but um it was all marked one dollar and you just basically have to go through it so the store is set up like basically it kind of looks like a smaller like tj maxx or marshall's because like all the purses are color coordinated and they're all along um these racks on the walls and um and then the beginning of the store like when we first come in they have a lot of stuff separated by designer so like michael kors or whatever Tommy Hilfiger um they have it all separated by designer and then the rest is just like separated by like skirts pants blazers jackets stuff like that so it's super duper organized and I was like super impressed um for a consignment store so that made it a lot easier for me to like filter through stuff and like find exactly what I was looking for so I saw a lady when I was coming in and she had like three I mean ginormous bags of stuff she was like struggling to get them out she was like a little older lady and I was like oh my god you bought so much stuff and she's like yeah because it was a dollar each and I was like what where is that and she's like go in the back so I went in the back for the dollar sale and I did search through the two racks. Mostly everything was very organized as far as like, um, you know, type of item and then by size. But some stuff was obviously messed up because as I said, it is like a TJ Maxx and people are like picking up stuff and putting it back wherever they want or whatever. But, um, but it was pretty much really organized. So I looked at the jeans and yeah, I was like, oh, okay, you know, for a dollar, listen. So the first pair of jeans I got um, is a pair of Gap jeans. They're like wide leg at the bottom um and these are the gap uh limited edition lines so yeah so i got these in a size six 
they look like that thought they were cute and of course they were a dollar now they're originally priced 14 dollars but they took 13 dollars off so i was super happy about that next up i got another pair of jeans and these are the denizen um totally shaping jeans from levi they are super super stretchy uh, uh. oh my gosh and if you know me you know i'm a levi addict like i've never gotten a pair of levi's for a dollar so i was super happy about that um, yeah, so these were originally marked for $12 and they took $11 off. Um, so this is what they look like. I got these in a size six and they're just like, um, kind of just like a straight cut. And then I got, oh, I'm sorry. I thought I got four pairs of jeans, but I didn't. I got two pairs of jeans and two pairs of pants that were a dollar. So then I got a pair of just trouser pants. These are even Pecone. Um, and these are in a size 8 and I got an 8 because the waist looks really small. It looks more like a 6 so um, They just look like that So just a regular like trouser pant and I was like, oh, okay, um, and they're you know pretty they have a little weight to them So um, I figured that they'd be fine for like fall or if I want to wear them in the winter Just put like some leggings or something under them and they were originally $18, but I got $17 off um, and then lastly, I got another pair of trousers, um, and these I also got in an eight, uh, and these are Isabel and Nina, they're super cute, they had like really cute detailing, they were like tan, but um, yeah, they had like this little light loose stitching all through them, and they were originally $10, but they took $9 off, so I was super duper happy about those, um, and I figured like, I didn't try them on, I was like, oh, if I try them on, um, at home and I don't like them well I'll just donate them because they were a dollar because you can't return things that are um like when they do those flash sales you are not allowed to return those items but I was like it's a dollar like who cares so um the other stuff that I bought was just regular price and this stuff they do have I see on the receipt they have a seven day return policy so you can return regularly priced stuff within seven days it just has to have the tags on it and the receipt so that was pretty cool so first up I got a pair of shoes Yes, yes, some Etienne's, and I love these freaking shoes. Um, I have like two other pair of Etienne shoes, and um, I have a pair of boots, and I think a pair of like little shoe booties. And I've had both for maybe like a couple of years, and they hold up like ridiculous, like they're kind of indestructible. So, um, this is what they look like. I thought they were super cute because they had the little logo going all around, the little horse bit design. I thought that was super cute. Um, and these were twenty dollars. Now. You may be like, oh, that's kind of high for consignment, but they freaking look absolutely brand new. Like, even I definitely inspect everything, and that's the bottom of the shoe. I mean, like, there's no dirt, there's no scrapes, there's, they look brand freaking new. Like, there's no wrinkles on the shoes, and you know when you wear flats, if you wear them a lot, eventually, like, they'll crease or wrinkle. There's nothing. They look brand freaking new, so I was like, guess what? Yes, I had to give it that $20, and I have so much, like, cream and burgundy um and kind of like earth tones that i feel like this would be definitely a good piece for my wardrobe because i have a lot of stuff that it, it can go with so after that i picked up a two-piece um skirt set and this was 24 dollars um and it's jones of new york so this is the skirt super cute it has like little they're not polka dots but they look like polka dots they're just little dots and the skirt probably falls like to my knees and then here's the blazer it looks like that so I thought that was like super duper cute and I was like oh that's definitely cute I could rock it um, to work go work to church whatever so I definitely needed that you can never have like too many suits so for 24 bucks yes i'll take it it was like 12 dollars for a blazer and basically 12 dollars for a skirt so i was like yes that was definitely a good find um okay and then i got three skirts okay and do not laugh because all three skirts are basically the same color i do realize that before you guys even comment on it but yeah so the first skirt i got is a worthington skirt um, and you know, they normally sell Worthington at JCPenney. And um, this was $14. 
I thought it was super duper cute. I really like the design on that. Um, it's just print. It is kind of light, uh, but it does have a lining in it. And I was like, oh, this is cool because I would probably like layer it up. Um, it does have a pocket or two pockets rather. And I was like, yes, I love skirts with pockets. So I would just probably layer it up and, um, you know, throw a blazer on with it. Throw some thick tights on with it and stuff. So, um, so yeah, I was pretty happy about that one. And that was the most expensive skirt that I got. And then this bad boy, oh my God, I was so excited about. Um, this is a Norton McNaughton skirt. This is in a six. And this one I got for $5. Yes, so the bottom is like um, teeny, 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 tiny, like houndstooth. It's like tweed. And then the trim is leather. So, looks like that. I was super excited about that. And then it has leather piping going down the side. For five bucks, I was like, yes. I was really excited about finding that. And then my last skirt. Oh my gosh, I freaking like love this thing. It's so cute. Um, This is a... I'm really not sure. Um, I, I don't think they knew the designer either because it doesn't say. Um, but look how freaking cute that is. And I am not the biggest like animal print person, but this, this does look like maybe tiger print or something or zebra print. And I'm not the biggest animal print person, but I thought it was super cute. And oh my God, it's like textured and it's really heavy. So I don't know if you can tell on camera, but yeah, it's, it's like textured all over the entire skirt. And I was like, oh my God, yes, this skirt will work for me through like fall and winter. So super excited. Um, and this was $10 and this is in a six as well. And it has a little split in the back. So I was super duper excited about that. And then I think my, yeah, my last two pieces are both outerwear. Now what I really went there for is I wanted to find like blazers and I wanted to find, um, jackets because where i live in western new york it is cold it's already like 40 degrees so basically we basically have like nine months of winter so it's you know turning into that time or whatever so i definitely wanted to find like more um winter coats so i do have um uh, probably three p coats i did have like five or six but i've given away two like i mentioned in a couple of videos that i was purging like september and october and I filled up like five giant bags of um, like big Marshalls bags, the ones that you buy at the end of the aisle. So I filled up like five of those full of like clothes, shoes, jackets and donated them. Um, so yeah, I wish I knew about the clothes mentor before I donated them because um, the way that they work is that uh, unlike like you know a lot of consignment stores if you don't if you give them stuff or whatever they wait until they sell it and then you guys split the profits well they don't do that they're set up more like Plato's closet uh, which is actually like a couple of doors down from them but they um, you bring in whatever it is that you want them to check out they check it out and if they um, pick out items that they want to sell they'll give you the cash for it right then so they only accept things that are like maybe one or two seasons old so it has to be like current it has to have it's, it has to be something that came out like within the past year so i was like oh that's pretty awesome so when you go in there it's all like you know cute mostly designer stuff and it's definitely all current like there's no like old stuff in there so that was pretty awesome so oh my god you guys i'm so excited about this okay so i bought this cape yes i'm gonna see if i can put it on i bought this cape um, and this is by C. John. Uh, this is a medium slash large. Okay, this was my most expensive pur purchase. I did splurge. Um, but it's brand new. It still has the original tags and stuff on it. And this was 118 Okay, so this is the Ivy Cape. And you put it on like this. But I freaking like love the print. Oh my god, I love this design so much. It, it goes like this and then, um, you know, you just button it up or whatever. And there's also like buttons at the bottom. Like for where your arm is or whatever. So you keep your arm in like that. And oh my God, I was just in love with this thing. I thought it was like super unique and just really, really cute. A real statement piece. And I was like, oh yes, I have to have that. So I did pay $50 for it. But I really, really wanted it. 
It was not an impulse buy. I thought about it. I held it at the counter for a while. And then when I was ready to check out, I was like, oh, I'm getting it or whatever. And the fact that it was brand new. So if I saw this in a store, I would buy it and I'd probably just pay the 118 for it. So I feel like the $50 was a bargain. Um, and I just freaking love the stitching. And lastly, I did get what I came for. I got a winter coat. They did have a really good selection of pea coats. I tried on like four or five, but oh my God, the way my body is set up, yeah, it's crazy. So um, I have like really long arms and I'm top heavy with like broader shoulders. So yeah. So um, I tried on like a BCBG um, pea coat and yeah, the girls, they were too big for that. Then I tried on like a can of cola one and the sleeves were too short. So I was a little sad, but then boom, I came across another can of cola one and I was super duper excited. And I normally wear like eights and colds and something said, just try this 10, don't walk past it. So yes, I saw this guy. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It is like a knee length pea coat, heavy wool and yes, yeah, like charcoal gray. Um, and I just love the buttons, love the collar. Yes, and it's long. Oh my gosh, and the sleeves are long. So I was so excited about that. Um, yes, yeah, so I love this thing. And it looks like freaking like brand new. So whoever had it, they took really good care of it. And it only cost $30. I have no idea why it was only $30. Most of the pea coats that they have, they range between like 45 and maybe like 60 bucks. But I don't know why this was 30 but... I checked it over. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's in great condition. It's beautiful. And so I was just happy to get it. So I snatched it up. So altogether, I spent $157 before tax. Um, I still feel like it was a good, that was a good deal because, you know, 80 bucks of it was two coats. Um, so yeah. So if you guys want to check out Close Mentor, as I said, I will link them below. Check out their Facebook page and make sure you like it. So then, um, you know, they'll send you out the alerts for their flash sales. And um, as I said, you can also order from them online so shout out to close mentor and my cashier's name was cassie so hi cassie when i was checking out i was talking to my friend and i was like oh i'm gonna do a haul video and she's like oh are you on youtube and i thought that was so funny and i was like yeah so i gave her my card and i told her that i will upload this video so shout out to cassie um thank you for your help she was super sweet um and yeah close mentor is freaking awesome okay okay so as always when i saw these outfits i will do outfit of the day posts on Instagram. So make sure you're following my Instagram at Pretty PR Chick. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook as well. Also Pretty PR Chick. And of course the blog, prettyprchick.com. All right. So I will see you guys on Friday. But you know, hit me up before then. I love talking to you guys. And that's it. Peace out.